So let's discuss what a narcissist is, trying to determine whether someone is narcissistic. So, exaggerated sense of self-importance. They have a sense of superiority over others. They have the feelings of superiority, feeling like they're better than other people. There is a sense of the fantasy of their own brilliance, a fantasy of their extreme excellence, and how they are inflated over others. There is an excessive need for attention, an excessive need for uh, basically the expression of attention, the expression of, of how great they are from others. They need us, that is the supply they're seeking, is they need us to reflect back to them just how important they are. That is how narcissists are. Their relationships are usually superficial where you may have a relationship where you're a very um, connected person who likes deep relationships and you may think you have one with this person but when you step back and look at it it's really you who's doing all the giving in that regard and they are extremely um, withholding and they're not connecting on a deep level they are not giving you the depth of relationship that you that you need they lack empathy or they have limited empathy mm -hmm. limited meaning they can understand what someone might be feeling but they're not going to go beyond that and express any care about it so while they might understand they don't care have a total lack of empathy in expression for other people they may do things that look like empathy like a more covert narcissist will help people out in certain ways but everything is reflected back to what it gives them it's about their image and about making them look a certain way. So it's not truly coming from feeling. There's a lack of accountability with a narcissist. They do not take accountability. They refuse to take accountability. So there's that. Uh, the meaning that they won't admit their side of things in a real and true way. They won't apologize in a real and true way. They won't accept the way they hurt people and then do anything about it in a real way that makes a difference. They won't take accountability, they won't take responsibility for that. Their sense of self is superficial and rigid and fragile. So their sense of who they are is built up by the masks they wear. That is what their sense of self is. They have a grandiose image of themselves. So again, they're self-inflated, but it's in this grandiose way that is also fragile in that they cannot accept anything that challenges it. They can't accept anything that goes against the image that they're trying to portray against the mask that they're wearing. When they're in relationships, they have a vulnerability around that ego, around that sense of inflated self in uh, the mask that they're wearing. And that, that, like I said, that can't be challenged. If it's challenged, you start getting devaluing. Even without it, they'll devalue. But if it's challenged, you'll get gaslighting, you'll get projection. You'll get blame shifting. You'll get all kinds of things because they can't have that happen. They cannot accept that at all. They crave power and control in relationships. They need the power and control. They need to maintain that power and control so that it is in charge of what others think about them, in charge of what others believe about themselves, so that then they can maintain the power and control in the relationship so that that relationship never goes beyond the narcissistic uh, view of what it should be. In other words, there's no real relating back and forth. All you're doing is reacting to the narcissist, what they put in front of you. They're controlling it all. They're controlling the dialogue. They're controlling the way you think, the way you feel, the way you see them. Okay. And they need that. That is how they relate. They have a sense often of toxic shame. Now, this is an internal sense for them often that, um, of how their inner world is. It is filled with toxic shame. Here's the here's the problem though. Here, well, that's a problem to begin with, but here's a problem in that that toxic shame, instead of being directed toward inwardly, like some people do, or being worked on, like hopefully we're all doing, <laughs> they cover it with a mask. They cover it with a mask to pretend it isn't there so that they can go on and live in under the delusion who they're presenting themselves as and who they're claiming to believe they are. There's an entitlement to them. There's an entitlement that is disregarding of others. It masks their shame. It masks their vulnerability. It masks their insecurities. They convince themselves through this entitlement and this, this 
you know, sense of entitlement that, that they are superior and deserve everything. So you can see, like, why would they treat you this way with all of why, this, why this would, image? Their whole life is to preserve this mask. That doesn't, they don't let that down because it is who they believe they are. It is who they, how they operate. It's to gain and to get. Okay, it's gain and get and use. And that's what they're doing. So Somebody said recently to me a, a great phrase. They said, when you step into the world of a narcissist in any way, you're stepping onto their stage meaning the spotlight's on you on their stage and they are directing everything that's going on. Step off the stage, step away from that and look at it from the audience instead. In other words, observe what's happening when you're dealing with a narcissist and see all of this going on that, we, that I described here and then some in play in action, see it in action so that you do not get swept into it with your emotions and your mind and all of your beliefs and your heart and your energy and your time.